what's up, people? Craig here, Crying Jack's Music. I know it's been a while. Hope you miss me. Um, this lesson we're going to be doing 1904 by the tallest man on earth off of their 2012 album, um, There's No Leaving Now. Um, it's in the key of C major. I'm going to go over the chords, um, walk you through it, and then probably sing a little of it. Um, the, um, the tuning is, is standard except for one little difference. Um, instead of E, A, D, G, B, E, it's actually E, A, D, G, B, D. So E, A, D, G, B, D. Okay, capo on the fifth fret. All right, so I watched Christian um, Schmelzen, or whatever his name is, um, just kidding, I, I know it's Matson. Um, play it um, live a couple of times, um, and um, he plays it in different keys. So um, the studio recording is in the key of C, capo fifth fret. He also plays it on the fourth fret um, in the key of B, and he'll also play it um, capo second fret in the key of um, A, okay? Um, but the studio version is um, in the key of C major, um, capo fifth fret. Um, so I'm gonna show you the chords. Um, Capo fifth fret, so everything I'm going to tell you is in relation to the capo, so the capo is zero. Okay, so the first chord is a G9 or, or a G add nine, all right, and I'm going to walk you through all these. Um, so this is the first chord um, in the intro. Okay, and then it's going to be a C major seven plus six. Okay, so that's the first two chords in the intro, all right, and then it goes um, G add nine to a G, to a C major seven plus six, to a C major seven over G, to an A minor seven, which is basically an A minor shape, it's just you have the D, so it's an A minor seven, to an A nine, which in standard tuning would be an A suspended two, to a D, seven add six over F sharp to a D suspended seven um, over F sharp. Okay, so that's the intro. The verse is um, G9 or G add nine to a C over G to an A minor seven to a D7 add six over F sharp, to a D suspended seven over F sharp. All right, that's the verse. The chorus is a C over G, and the hammer's on the, um, on the D string, to a G, to a D7 add six over F sharp, to a D suspended seven over F sharp. So that's the chorus, okay? Then there's a bridge um, um, when he says, um, and when the night is young, but the bridge is up. It's gonna be a, um, a B minor plus six over F sharp to a C major seven over G to a C over G to an E minor six to an E minor seven to a C over G, and then he does it again, uh, B minor plus six over F sharp, to a C major seven over G, to a C over G, um, to an E minor six, to a D seven add six, to a D suspended seven over F sharp. And that's the whole song. And in the studio version, he ends on a G. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to go over all these chords. The chords aren't that difficult. It's the strumming pattern that's really, really tricky. And I'm going to try to slow it down because he plays it really, really fast. Um, so I'm, I'm going to do my best here. Okay, so the first chord is, um, and again, relation to the capo, right? Um, so it's a... Um, a G9 or a G add nine. The actual chord is, is a C add nine or a C9. Um, so, and, and there is a way to play this in standard tuning, which 
maybe I'll do a lesson on at some point. Um, so you can play it without um, the, uh, the, the high E string tuned to a D. Um, it's pretty close, but it's not exact. I'm gonna get a little closer so you can see these chords. Um, so the first chord is a, a, a G9 or a G add nine, right? Um, so basically what you're doing is you're taking your second finger, second fret G string, and then your first finger, second fret A string, and then your third finger, third fret low E string, and that's your G9. Second chord is your C major seven plus six, right? So you're gonna leave your um, uh, second finger on the um, second fret G string, and then you're gonna take your first finger and put it on second fret D string, and then you're gonna put your um, third finger, third fret low E string, and your fourth finger, third fret A string. And you're gonna play them all. Okay. So that's your the first two chords in the intro, and, and he, he hammers on, on the G. Right? You do that twice. Okay? And then the intro is your um, G9. Right? And like I said, I'll go over the strumming in a bit. So your G9, right? And then you're going to lift your... Um, second finger off the fretboard and you're gonna make this G here, right? So it's just um, second finger, second fret A string and then your um, third finger, um, third fret low E string. And this makes a G. Okay, to your, again, your um, C major seven plus six, which we went over. To a C major seven over G, you're just gonna remove your second finger. to an A minor seven, which is just an A minor shape, right? It's just a seven because the D makes it a seven. To an A nine, so you're just gonna remove your um, first finger from the first fret B string, and that's your A nine. And like I said, in standard tuning, this would be an A suspended two, um, but with the D, it's, a, it's an A nine. Okay. And then you're gonna make um, a D7 add six. So you're gonna leave your, um, your third finger on the second fret um, G string. And then you're gonna take your second finger and put it on the second fret low E string to make that F sharp. And you're gonna let all six strings ring. And then for the, um, and the over F sharp. And then you're gonna do your D suspended seven over F sharp. And you're just gonna take your first finger, um, first fret on the B string. So you're gonna go from So that's the verse. Um, the chorus is um, a C over G, which is basically just a C chord, um, right? But I'm gonna play that um, low E string uh, to make a G, right? So um, basically I'm, I'm doing a standard C chord and I'm taking my third finger, third fret, low E string, and then my fourth finger, third fret, A string. That makes a C over G, right? Um, to and he hammers on the uh, on the D string to a G, which we went over to a D seven add six over F sharp to a D suspended seven over F sharp. And he does that twice, okay. And then you have your bridge um, when he says when the night is young, but the bridge is up. And basically, what it is is a, a B minor chord. Um, except your, um, first finger is going to leave the, um, the, um, high E string, or actually it's a D, open. And you're going to put your first finger on the second fret, um, low E string to make an F sharp. Otherwise it's, it's just a B minor chord and leaving the low D string, I guess, open. Right? So that's a B minor plus six over F sharp, because I have that F sharp here. Okay, to a um, C major seven over G, right? So it's just um, um, second finger, second fret um, D string, and then your um, third finger, third fret low E string, and then your fourth finger, third fret A string, and you're letting them all ring. 
To a C over G, you're just gonna take your first finger um, and put it on the first fret B string to make your C over G again. Okay, to an E minor six, so I'm gonna keep my first finger on the B string and I'm gonna make an E minor, right? This is an E minor six. And then I'm gonna take my fourth finger and put on the third fret B string to make an E minor seven. Okay, um, to a C over G again. And he hammers. And then you do it again. And the only one, right? So you go um, your, your B minor plus six um, over F sharp. To your C major seven um, over G. To your C over G. I think he hammers. To an E minor six. To a D seven at six over F sharp. To a D suspended seven over F sharp. And that's the whole song, and you end on a, a, a G. At least the studio version ends on a G. All right, and I think when he plays it live, he ends on that G9. So you can hear the difference because he's adding an A to it. Um, so this is with the A. And this is just a regular G without the A. Okay, I'm back. Um, so I'm going to attempt to do the strumming, and as I mentioned, I'm going to have to slow it down uh, quite a bit because he plays it really, really fast. Um, so I'm going to do my best for you guys, um, so bear with me. Um, and there's two, two different strumming patterns, right? There's the verse, um, there's the intro, and then the verse, and then there's another part where he, he kind of slows it down. Um, and I'm probably going to have to sing along with it a little bit, even though I know the copyright police are, are going to be after me. Um, so anyway, here it goes. So here's the intro. changes right and when he says and that as I lower down I hear it's a message and it, so it goes like this right so when he says as I lower down I hear it's a message and it's 1902 right so and as I lower down so you have your um, G9 lower down I hear it's a to your C major 7 over G Message, and when he says it's 1902, you're gonna play your C over G, and you're gonna hit four down strokes. 1902 to your A minor seven. again. And you do that twice again. And 
now you go into your bridge when he says, and when the knight is young, um, but the bridge is up, right? So you go to your your, your um, B minor plus six over F sharp. And when the knight is young, but the bridge is up, something passing by our shore. And the only one you will tell is, it's the only And you repeat that other strumming pattern. And, and since one rock was made to go from my window, it's something so strange and something louder than before. So you get the point. The last verse um, is that second strumming pattern, right? Um, and some will say it's not even healthy, but body is young and mind is sure. All right, when he says sure, that's, um, you just do your D7, um, add six over F sharp, right? And some will say it's not even healthy, but body is young and mind is sure. That something is so right with your thinking, cause they shook the earth in. And then when you, um, in 1904, you go to your, um, D suspended seven over F sharp, and you hit that four times. Since they shook the earth in 1904, and then you end on your G. I'll play that again. And some will say it's not even healthy, but body is young and mind is sure. That something is so right with you thinking. They shook the earth in 1904. And as I mentioned in the live versions, he seems to end on a, uh, a G9 instead of that G. All right, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. I did. Um, please um, leave any comments, questions in the comment section. Uh, see you soon.